Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on graphing irrational numbers on the number line. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it and see how you go. If you would like to subscribe now, please do so here. Otherwise, you can subscribe at the end. Irrational numbers. We saw in an earlier video that irrational numbers do not have an exact value. That is, they don't have an exact rational value. In order to find their position on a number line, we need to go through a very special process involving the right angle triangle and some construction work. Now here is the diagram we're going to use. Let's see what it involves. In this diagram, we have drawn a right angle triangle with base 1 and height 1. So the red line is the square root of 2. So using Pythagoras' theorem, you can find the length of this red line and it will be the square root of 2. We place our compass point on 0. So we get a compass, place the sharp point on 0, open it to the length of the hypotenuse and draw the dotted line till it hits the number line. So with the point on 0, open the compass to this length, draw this dotted line here, and here it is. This point P is the square root of 2. We have found its position. Finding the square root of 5 on a number line. If we look carefully at the graph below, we can see how to find the position of the square root of 5 on the number line. It involves a clever construction and the use of Pythagoras' theorem. So we have a right angle triangle, the base is 2 units, and the height is 1 unit. If we use Pythagoras' theorem, we find that that is the square root of 5. We open our compass to the length of the hypotenuse, we draw the dotted line around here, and this point here is the square root of 5. Finding any irrational number. If we extend the ideas from the previous two slides, we can see that it is possible to draw any interval whose length is an irrational number. Let us look at the three examples below. Assume the length of each hypotenuse is x. Now, if we start off with a right angle triangle, three units for the base and one unit for the height. If we use Pythagoras' theorem, which is very straightforward, remember x is the length of the hypotenuse, so x squared equals 1 squared plus 3 squared. x squared equals 10, so x is the square root of 10. So this hypotenuse is the square root of 10. And that's how you draw that length. In a similar fashion, if we have a right angle triangle with a base of 5 and a height of 2, we go through Pythagoras' theorem and we find that the hypotenuse is the square root of 29. So that's an irrational number. And finally, if we have a right angle triangle with a base of 6 and a height of 3, we go through Pythagoras' theorem and we find that the length of the hypotenuse is the square root of 45 and that's an irrational number. So if you have any irrational number at all, you can always construct a right angle triangle and draw the length of that interval. Here is a quick quiz 
to help you with your understanding. And if you need any further help, please check with the video. What is the meaning of the following? Be inspired. Look at that letter there. And I've given you a little hint there as to why that is the answer. If you would like to subscribe now, please do so here. Otherwise, you can subscribe at the end. Here are the answers to the quick quiz. And if you need to check through the video, please do so at any time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide and you will receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.